Yo, what it is, man? Thuggle and Mercury K777, sending love, that and positivity to everyone's watching this video. And today's video topic is the streets ain't real. So, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I got more content coming in 2021. Without further ado, let's dive into it, okay? So, this is a very important message for my melanated people, okay? This message can go for any race okay i don't care what race you are listen this is real life okay i want you to understand that the streets the quote on streets is not real okay there is no such thing as a street nigga uh, a hood nigga okay let me explain um that term was given to us to make us look stupid you know when you be claiming you a street nigga or a hood nigga do you know how that makes you look the government these police motherfuckers like yeah he doesn't know who he is. He's really a God on the low. He's a fraction of God. You feel me? He's a child of the most high on him. But guess what? You who's sitting here repping it, oh, I'm a street nigga, I'm a gangster. I'm this, I'm that. They looking at you stupid. And you know, it's funny in today's society that they will praise some shit like that. That street shit is not real. Let me explain to you what the streets um, was designed to do, right? There is certain people here, right? Who have great purposes, who are legitimately angelic beings also mind any noise in the background because i'm dealing with the matrix okay so understand the streets was designed to keep certain melanated people bound in chains so what do i mean by bound in chains okay i mean it was designed to keep you stuck okay that's what the streets was made for and you know in this life the streets only gonna get you either death or jail and that's exactly what these government and the elite motherfuckers want they want most melanated people to be in jail or dead because in the hood believe it or not y'all see a lot of people um who are celebrities some of these uh black entrepreneurs like polo g um little dirk little uzi Vert. i'm just throwing out melanated people who come from the real struggle meek mill etc you know their environment was fucked up they went to jail all this is that in the third and they had to go against all odds. Believe it or not, they really do not like us, bro. This is why um, they want to keep so much melanated people down and with this reprobated mindset because once you have knowledge of self, it's over with. Once you know who your true identity is, it's over. I want to let you know, black person, you are not black. Black means dead. Do you know what the color black is? Go in the Crayola box and get the color black. You are not black. You are melanated. This is melanated skin. Stop calling yourself black because black means dead. Okay? They are calling you black people or calling us black people because we're dead. Okay? They know that we are not alive and they have taken our spiritual energies and powers by force. Okay? So they're calling us dead people on purpose, bro. Because they know this is not who we are. Superman, Wonder Woman, Hulk, Spider-Man, Wolverine, all these motherfuckers you've seen in Marvel, Thanos, they ain't gonna tell you that Thanos was actually a, a melanated king or a melanated guy, right? Yeah, but they make the villains look evil, but really at reality, they talking about us. Why do you think in the Bible, they say 666 is the devil, but in reality, 666 is the element of man, the element of what? Carbon, melanated people. So they calling you the devil. Why they calling you the devil? Because you really God. They don't want you to know that you're a god. They want you to think that, oh, I'm a street nigga, I'm a hood nigga. Now listen, we all victims to this shit, man. People don't waste their whole entire life because they didn't have knowledge of self. They didn't know who the fuck they really were. They couldn't reclaim their power like they're supposed to, okay? They couldn't do it. A lot of y'all melanated people, y'all are gods who came back and they know who y'all are when y'all come out the womb portal. Everything in the hospital is designed and set up. They know exactly who the fuck you are. So it's all set up for you to be programmed, thinking you a street nigga and you a hood nigga. Polo G said it in his song. He said, you a king, you not a gangster. I'm just telling you the truth. Please just take my word, because they done scrambled all the proof. You're a king, bruh. Melanated man, melanated woman. Y'all are gods and goddesses, and they know that you are God. You are a fraction of God, G. You are God. The Bible talks about ye are gods. Why would the Bible tell us that we're all gods because everybody is a fraction of God okay you are a God bruh 
the extraterrestrial beings known as the Anunnaki, they have bestowed you the gift of melanin. Do you know how powerful and strong your melanin really is? Bro, know who you fucking are, man. Stop claiming that street shit. All of us melanated people in this life, we have been programmed to think we street niggas. That shit don't exist, man. They want you to go to jail, duck. Because look, when you go to jail, right, let me tell you what happens to you. Your time is being wasted. No matter what you get sentenced to, death is not fucking real, man. But let me tell you the whole agenda behind prison or jail, man. It's a waste of time, G. And um, basically, when you go to jail, right, notice how it's a slavery type thing. You get what I'm saying? It's like slavery, bro. And on top of that, you got entities in the unseen realm. My bad. You have entities in the unseen, which would be the Alpha Draconians, the Reptilians, low vibrational entities who feed off the energy of the melanated people. Now, let me tell you why the jail system was created. I'm going to give a couple reasons. Number one, it is designed to keep everybody in control because let's face it, the world is already evil and chaotic, okay? So there needs to be some type of um, control, you feel me, to keep it from being worse than what it should be, right? That's one of the main reasons, I'll give it that. But the other reason is so, look, melanated people, we are emotional people, bro. We are soulful. We have emotional energy, okay? This whole matrix was designed to steal your energy. So the whole goal about prison and jail was to keep you in there, right? Get a lot of melanated people because most melanated people, they either die or go to jail. And it's a reason for that, okay? Now look, when you go to jail as a melanated person, right? Um, notice how the food in jail is ass, the water ass, you in the worst of the worst um, environment. And guess what? All of that shit is low vibrational. So understand, there is entities always around you. So when you go to jail, there's, there's entities that is in your vicinity everywhere you go. And all this low vibrational food you doing, all that shit that's in there, all they doing is stealing your energy. Entities that you can't see with these two eyes, but in higher dimensions, stealing your energy. Stealing the energy off people who suffering in prison because prison is hell. You go to prison or jail, it's hell. It's like 